Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Abby and with Fitness is Medicine. Today we're going to do another great strength training workout you can do in your home with minimal equipment, minimal space, and easy to follow directions. Come into these workouts warmed up and ready to move. Five to 10 minutes of a cardio workout just to get your heart rate warmed up, your muscles and joints warmed up and ready for movement, and your mindset ready for movement. Okay, today we're gonna to need one heavy dumbbell and a bench. You can always use the side of your bed, coffee table, sofa, something like that. Um, we are also going to need a lighter set of dumbbells, little discs if you have them. If you don't have discs, you can use cups, you can use, I mean, literally anything, just kind of a little target. And a rolled up towel or yoga mat or something. I'm gonna actually use a yoga block today. And um, then we're also going to need um, either like kind of a lighter to medium dumbbell or a jug. I'm gonna use a jug of water that's about two thirds full. Okay, <clears throat> so let's get started. We're gonna start with a one arm row on the bench. So what we're gonna do is put the same side, knee and hand on the bench. You want your hand directly beneath your shoulders, nice flat back. So if you find yourself here, think about flattening that back. We're gonna do a one arm row. So take that weight and drop it off the edge of the bench. I want your shoulders level, so not way down here. You wanna keep your shoulders level. You're gonna drive your elbow towards the ceiling. Squeeze your shoulder blade towards your spine. Just dropping it so that your shoulders stay level, controlling it both ways. Now really keep your tummy tight here. Six, seven, Control that weight on the way down. Nine and 10. Okay, now you can either just switch sides of the bench or turn around like if you're on your bed or sofa. Or... <clears throat> so get that hand directly beneath your shoulders, shoulders down away from your ears. Nice and controlled here. You're gonna drive that elbow towards the ceiling and slowly lower it towards the floor. Breathe, tummy nice and tight here. Five, six, breathing, tummy tight. Think about squeezing that shoulder blade towards your spine each time you lift that weight. Nine and 10. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna push my weight bench out of the way. And next I'm gonna grab my jug here. So like I said, you could use like a medium weight dumbbell or um, you know, even a weight plate. I'm gonna use this because it's, uh, the water will move around. We're gonna do steering wheel sit to stands. So I'm gonna use this chair here. I want your arms out here like you're <clears throat> driving crazy. You wouldn't actually drive like this, right? Now, if you have a hard time getting in and out of a chair, use your hands, you don't have to do this part. Also, the further away you have it from your body, the harder it is, the closer in, the easier. So you can kind of find your sweet spot where it's challenging, but doable. Breathe, six, when you hold it out here, your back is working more, so make sure that you're keeping your tummy really tight. nine and ten okay good I like doing those upper and lower body combinations burns more calories it's more functional if you think about real life when you're doing things you're having to keep your legs strong your abs tight while you're doing something with your arms okay now I have my lightweight dumbbells here we're going to do um, your rear deltoids. So your shoulder has kind of three heads to it and your back part of your shoulder doesn't necessarily get worked as often. So we want to keep those muscles as strong as possible surrounding that joint. So we're going to do a rear delt. So shoulders down, just going to bend over slightly. And I want your pinkies towards the ceiling. So I'm not bent over. We're not doing like a full on reverse fly like this. It's more your pinkies are towards the ceiling. My dog is very excited up there. 
tummy tight. My back is straight here. Eight, nine, and ten. All right, good. Rest. I'm going to move my weights over here out of the way. <clears throat> okay, now I've got my three discs here. You can use little discs, you know, like um, for agility type of discs. You could use these balance discs that I have. You can use cups, really anything to kind of give you a target. So I'm going to do a three disc tap. So I'm going to stand on one foot. I want you to reach out, tap, bring your foot back towards center, reach out, tap, reach back, tap. We're going to do that five times each, nice and slowly. Challenge yourself. You can put them further out. Now, if you need to put your foot down in between each one, that's okay, but try not to, if you can. Like I said, always do these balance exercises next to something sturdy if you need to. And rest. Okay, now I'm gonna put this one out to the side there. Switch feet. Tap, tap, middle, tap. Now your goal is to keep this hip nice and strong. So this hip is working really hard balancing you, stabilizing you. If you find yourself kind of slumping over like this, it's gonna make it hard. You don't have the range of motion, so really tighten that up. Stand strong. You can put your hand there if you need to to kind of remind yourself, like, keep that hip tall, strong. One more time through. And rest. Okay, great. Now we're going to lower down to the floor for the last two. First, we're going to do flutters on your tummy. So this is a really big um, posterior chain exercise. <clears throat> I like you to put your forehead on something. So I've got my yoga block here. You could use a rolled up towel. You could use a rolled up yoga mat, something so that you can just keep your spine um, happy, keep your neck happy. Because when you turn your head over like this and you're laying down, it makes it really hard it kind of wrenches your neck so you want to keep all of that in neutral and keep it happy so lie down on your tummy our goal is 30 seconds here three two one and flutter those arms and legs so you want to keep your legs straight so you're fluttering from your hips fluttering from your glutes keep your knees straight so versus this okay <clears throat> Breathing. When you're on your tummy, you gotta really work on that controlled breathing. We've got five more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, good. Now we're just gonna flip over onto your back. So we'll get that out of the way. We're going to do bicycle abs to end. So on your back, Bend your knees to start. I want you to think about flattening your back to the ground. What this looks like is this. So if we need to start, um, if that's really challenging for you, I want you to start kind of like this, keeping your knees bent. You can touch one to the ground because your goal is to keep this back flat and happy. If you have back pain or if it's, um, not you're not able to keep it down you're not able to keep that back flat then keep your knees bent and you're here if not you can try one leg out straight try not to put either one down if you do a few and you're like oh i can't keep my back flat or my back is really hurting go back to this one you're still working your abs it's just a little bit um shorter lever so it's a little bit easier on those joints breathe One more each side and rest. Good. Now, if you're if you get to the end of this and your back is a little bit sore or you you know you kind of felt it in your back, pull your knees into your chest and really stretch that out. All right, go through these one or two more times. Add a little cardio in between. Challenge yourself. Get that heart rate up. Keep your um, get a great full body workout with that heart rate. It should take you. Um, about an hour, maybe a little less, if you go through, through three times and add a little cardio. 
Um, usually my workouts are only about 10 minutes. So if you can fit one in now, maybe do one around lunchtime, one around dinner time, or whatever, that's another great way to do it. You know, kind of mix it, um, divide it up, make it easier to kind of accomplish. All right, if you have any questions or need any modifications, please feel free to reach out privately or leave a message in the comments. Otherwise, have a great workout and we'll see you next time. Thanks everybody.